the small YouTuber problem. Moi moi, I'm Joinin, and I'm a small YouTuber. Imagine you know what your dream job is. To get there, you know it's going to be a lot of work, a lot of unpaid work, a lot of unseen, unnoticed work. The hours will be long, the recognition will be minimal, and the sympathy will be zero. Bring it on. See, the small YouTuber is a special breed. It's a certain type of person ready to get dragged through the mud by their friends, by their family, by YouTube itself, all for the sake of one common goal, a dream. Actors, musicians, Broadway practitioners, artists, photographers, filmmakers. But now, this decade has brought forth the latest challenger. iPhone vlogging, upgrading to a five-year-old camera, makeshift tripods, bad autofocus, slow laptop. Very, very slow laptop. Work with what you've got, just make sure you're working. There's more competition than ever. Polish. A small YouTuber will always feel that YouTube is pushing back. It will flag your videos, it will take away your monetization. It isn't going to open any doors, so break them down. It at times will feel like YouTube won't give you the chance to succeed. Prove it wrong. Prove everyone wrong. You have no cheat codes, you didn't write the algorithm, and you have no famous friends. You have control over one thing, making better videos. Monetization isn't going to make your videos better, neither is fame. Pursue better videos. PewDiePie copycat. Jacksepticeye copycat. <sighs> Casey Neistat copycat. Commenters will always draw comparisons. Remember to be original and stay true to yourself, but don't let it stop you from creating. Musicians cover music before they learn to write. If you're worried about it, call yourself out first. Hey guys, this video was inspired by Casey Neistat's Do What You Can't. Andrew Huang, Casey Neistat, PewDiePie, William Osman. Take inspiration from the YouTubers you admire. Originality doesn't come from a refusal to acknowledge that which you're probably copying anyway. They can teach you a lot about what to do right, and in some cases, what not to do wrong. Back to the problem at hand. The small YouTuber problem. The gear, the money, the exposure. Scratch that. If you're nodding your head, the problem is excuses. The small YouTuber problem. Excuses, quantity, quality. Your gear is fine. Whatever you have, use it. Release more. Find a schedule. Stick to it. Your videos suck. Not true? Doesn't matter. Make better videos. Keep working and eventually the small YouTuber will see their first hate comment. This is good. You're making progress. Slow growth allows you to acclimate to the harsh comments. The haters will grow with you, but so will the love. Just focus on the returning commenters who like your content. Ah, and don't feed the trolls. Growth on YouTube comes in influxes, and your next video could cause one. So keep working to make your next video better than the last. From one small YouTuber to another, here's to making better videos and being a little bit less small than you were before.